Okay, so the bits. What are the bits? Right. What do they show? Um, what uh, and what does the opener do? Must you accept the transfer like you would with the relay? Um, or are there any liberties at all that you can take? And it turns out that you actually do have a little room to maneuver. So we're going to start with two spades. And we're going to have two spades always be a club suit. Never diamonds. Technically, I think ACB, has, uh, I think you're, you're still supposed to say alert rather than transfer um, because some people might do different things and might, there might be some structures out there where two spades would not show specifically clubs. This is pretty common, but because it's not universal, um, when you open a no trump and partner bids, two spades would actually want you to say alert, not transfer. Um, and then when the opponents ask about the alert, you say it's a club suit. Um, so even though it's in this situation, the suit is known and it, it is in fact going to be a transfer. If you slip and you say transfer, it's not a big deal. Your opponent might, might ask you to clubs or, you know, so um, make sure that we've clarified that. Um, but I think there's a pretty good reason why we normally want two spades to be the transfer to clubs. Um, all we know at the time of the transfer is that it's a six card or longer club suit. Strength, we don't know. Could be weak, could be a slam track, right? Could be really all, all over the map. About the only thing we can eliminate is it's a hand that doesn't want to play exactly three no trump, right? That's the part we talked about. Just play three no. But um, and then, and this is the, and I think two spades as a transfer to clubs is, is easy to remember. This is the one, this is the one that's weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't otherwise have a meaning for two spades, right? I mean, two spades is some kind of relay, but, but the one, the one thing we know is I mean, yeah, as long as we're playing with a partner who plays regular Jacoby transfers, the one thing we know about two spades is that it can't be spades, right? Because we always start with two hearts. So that's easy. <laughs> two no is the one that gets messed up uh, a lot of times. I can tell you this has happened numerous times to me uh, um, while, while playing with students. You say, yep, we're on board. Four suit transfers, let's do it. Okay, and they open a no trump, and I have a diamond suit, and I bid two no, and they don't alert. And they don't bid diamonds <laughs> after that. <laughs> so it, it is easy to forget. It's not intuitive. Uh, we don't really think about using no trump to show, to show a suit very often. Okay, the opener has bid one no trump. The opener has correct? bid one no. Yes. We are one no. Question mark. Yeah. So one no, two spades, or one no, two no. Um, now, something that we're gonna revisit a little later today um, because uh, the question is probably already in there for you um, is, well, how are we supposed to invite? Because two no is invitational without a four card major, right? And now we've just taken that away from you and given it another meaning. We are coming back to that. And that, I would say that that might be the single most important part of the minor suit transfer structure. So don't worry, that is not forgotten. But we will uh, we will be discussing that. Um, so, yeah. So two spades is going to be your transfer to clubs, and two no is going to be your transfer to diamonds. And okay, wait, wait, say that so that two no. Do you say transfer or do you say alert? You uh, you should technically say alert. Really? Yeah. Um, Why? That's that's just that's just what ACBL says you're you're supposed to do. Because it's not universal. Jacob, Jacoby transfers are pretty universal. So many people are playing, at least in North America, so many people are playing standard American or two over one, and Jacoby transfers to the major is a fundamental part of that. It's just pretty well assumed. You know, I mean, we still have the announcement. We still say transfer. But, um, but just be, and just because this whole structure is a little bit more involved, that they tell you you should 
just treat it as, as an alert rather than an announcement. Um, but again, if you say transfer, I don't think you're going to have a problem. As long, as long as you are conveying that these bids are not natural, that's probably the most important part of it. So <laughs> Now, notice something that's a little different about these bids um, from, um, from your regular Jacoby transfer. If I bid two diamonds to transfer you to hearts, um, there is no bidding space between two diamonds and two hearts. So two hearts is pretty much forced, right? Uh, you, you really can't bypass. And about the only thing that you can do, and I don't know if we've ever talked about this um, in any previous classes or not, but um, about the only thing you can do is if you really love partners Jacoby bid, you are allowed to super accept, and that's normally done with a jump to the three level uh, in that major. And that's safe, because if you have a super fit there, the hand, even if partner has a pretty weak hand and isn't interested in game, the law of total tricks will normally protect you here, and if you have a, we normally do it with a known nine card fit, right? We're talking about, you know, an auction that goes like this. Say one, no two diamonds. Oh yeah, partner. I got a max with four hearts. That is exactly what I wanted to hear. And so even if partner's totally broke over here and passes three hearts, a lot of times you're making this contract. It's, it's pretty safe. Um, but beyond that, you normally don't do anything other than just bid two hearts like you're told. <laughs> um, so you have a, a, a little more luxury with your minor suits because there actually is a bidding step in between the transfer and the suit, right? So in the case of a, of a club transfer, if we go one no and you bid two spades and say alert, okay, you have long clubs. I could just do what I'm told and bid three clubs. I could also bid this step in between, two no. Now, we're not wanting to play two no. Um, this is not necessarily to say, I mean, we might want to play no trap eventually, but we don't know what partner's hand is yet, right? Um, so this isn't actually an opportunity for you to say, partner, I like your suit, or partner, I don't like your suit. Sort of a, a super accept opportunity of sorts. And you're looking at your holding in that suit um, but I'd also like you to be looking at your overall hand. Are you a minimum or a maximum no trump? Um, is this a no trump with good controls? You know, do, are your 15 to 17, are they more in aces and kings? Or is it kind of quacky? You know, lots of scattered queens and jacks. Because the hand with better controls, is, frankly, is a, is a better hand. Um, and you should be more inclined, um, you know, to... Yeah, uh, a partner may have a borderline hand and you could get to a good game that you might not otherwise bid and that game would probably be 3-0. Um, we'll look at a couple of examples uh, coming up here where you can say, you know, where you might say, yeah, I like it or no, I don't like it. Um, about the only thing that's up for debate because I see people do it both ways is which bid means I like it and which bid means I don't like it. Um, my preference is I bid the suit if I like it. You can really do it either way. Some people would bid the in-between step. They would bid two no to say, yeah, I like clubs. Um, but ultimately, it doesn't matter a whole lot because you don't know yet what kind of hand partner has. And a lot of times, partner has the bad hand and they just want to sign off, right? Um, but note that as long as your bid doesn't bypass three clubs here, you can always stop there, right? <clears throat> In other words, if I bid three clubs as sort of a super accept, and I say, yeah, partner, I like clubs, and partner has the terrible hand with six clubs, they're going to pass anyhow, right? We haven't gotten any higher than we were planning on being. Same thing with the two no. But it does say the responder is going to be playing here. Um, yeah, but doesn't that happen in all of your systems anyhow? I mean, even in the structure you play now, <laughs> yeah, where your two-spade bid could be clubs or diamonds, 
doesn't it respond doesn't or always play it with its diamonds. It does it in the diamonds. Yeah. Yeah, and so, and so it's yeah, it's what we can't we can't force the one no bidder to play hundred percent of the hands, but we, we you know we can get really close. Um, so you just live with that the rare occasion where the, the hand gets gets wrong sided. Um, and that would happen here if you were to bid two no to say, yeah, I'm not I'm not interested, yeah, I'm not crazy about clubs, and partner were to follow with three clubs, we now have three clubs. Yep, this this hopefully you would recognize as a weak sequence, mm -hmm. because you know you've you've said I don't like it and partner is sending off. Mm -hmm. So this kind of means unless he likes the suit, you're not the responder is going to play clubs or diamonds. Yeah, it could yeah it could happen either way mm -hmm. that the responder would play. But now re remember, there's another possibility here that that's oh that's only when it's the weak hand. Um. What if, you know, what if, what if you actually have a slam try, but it's a borderline slam try? And whether or not you make a slam try depends on whether partner likes the suit, right? So what if you're like, okay, I've got my six clubs. I'm giving some thought to slam. Let's see how partner feels about this. And the opener bids to no. Now, I have three small, or I have Jack Doubleton, or something that I don't love in that suit. So they've shut it down. Okay, well, maybe that's enough to tell you I'm not gonna pursue a slam, but you're still going to game, right? So, and if you're doing that, your game's gonna be three now. You can check. You can, you can check to see yeah, it, basically what you're doing in this kind of situation, and clearly by virtue of the fact that you're not signing off in three clubs, you must have had some slam interest. Go back to what we talked about before. If you didn't have at least a little slam interest, we said don't show the clubs, just go right to three now. Just go one no three now and call it good. So <clears throat> whether opener says I like it or I don't like it, <clears throat> if we end up you know, if a responder does something that takes us past three clubs, they clearly had a game-forcing hand and probably had some slam interest. Um, sometimes they might have slam interest. Look, if responder holds ace, king, queen, sixth of clubs, they know what your answer is going to be, right? And they may still have slam interest because they may have outside cards, right? Sometimes they know the response they're going to get. Um, but you still go through the transfer first because you can, because you can say what your long suit is, and then you can still make a slam try. And the opener's gonna, you know, if the opener doesn't have much in that suit, you know, that they're gonna realize what, what you're doing. Okay, so could you go through the logic again of why three no trump is not stopping that you're gonna continue on? Why three no on this auction? No, no, it is. Here you have placed the contract. The opener has said he doesn't like clubs. Right. And opener's not, not super accepting clubs. Okay. Because he did the step in between. Okay. <clears throat> and at that point, and remember that through these first three bids, right? Your one no, the transfer to clubs, and your expression of how you feel about the clubs, <laughs> a, a club contract. At this point, opener still has no idea what responder has, right? Other than six clubs. Okay. So it's going to be that second it's going to be responders bid in the second round that is now going to clarify, okay, so I had a bad hand, I wanted to sign off, or no, I actually had some, some slam. Could you give us an example of what yeah. Yeah. the no point trust race bidder Just the point range have. of that three no. That would say, um, I don't, yeah, I'm so not let, interested let's in say, Well, yeah, let, let, yeah, let's actually see if we can come up. Oh. Uh, we'll, we'll give you a... Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like that. <clears throat> so partner opens a no trump, and you've got 13 high card points with a you know, decent club suit. King, queen, sixth. I deliberately didn't give you the jack or ten or any spots. Reasonable suit, but a suit that may need just a little bit of help. Give you singleton on the side. Give you singleton diamond. Well, when you look at a hand like this and partner bids a no trump, what are you thinking? You're definitely going to game, right? 
That 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 we know that we know for sure. Mm -hmm. yep. You've got the values to be in game. Are you interested in a slam? I think you should be a little interested. I think you should be interested enough to see how partner feels about your long suit. Um, now, two things, and I thought of something else here, just <laughs> giving you this example. One, if you if you have a slam, uh, it's it's going to be a close. I really wouldn't be considering any other slams with this hand up as a close. You have a guaranteed eight card fit there. Now to take this back to last week, if you're looking at you know three three in the majors, thinking, well, we might have an eight card major fit. It's possible that opener has five hearts or five spades. Um, I am willing to give up on looking for that since it's since most of the most of the time partner won't have a five card major. I'm actually willing to give up on that for the sake of looking for a club slam. Wow. Because 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 remember you can't do both, right? No. If you jump to three clubs as puppet stamen, you are giving up on a club slam. There's no way partner is ever going to believe that you have a six card club suit. So this is one of those hands where you you have to choose a path to go down and, and live with it. And I'm I'm willing I'm willing to live with a, if we end up in a final contract of three no and we've missed an eight card major fit. I'm not too worried about it because I I've got extra strength. I think I think three no is still going to play pretty well. So. Okay, so, so yeah, so suppose, uh, suppose the opener bids three clubs on the how does it respond to that? Okay. Um we'll actually come back to that because there's a little uh in, in just a bit. So um if opener did bid three clubs, um I think you'd want to make a move towards slam, right? I'm got I, I partners partners got almost certainly gotta have the ace of clubs, right? Mm -hmm. To do this. Mm -hmm. Three to the ace, maybe four to the ace to say that they like clubs. Well, if that's partner's club holding, I hope you are now even more interested in six clubs. But can you erase that so. three no right there? All right, yeah. erase Thank three. you. All right. Um, yeah, we're, we're actually gonna come back to this here here in, in, in just a bit. Um, because then the, the how of, of proceeding uh, with your slam try is can be can be a little bit more. We're, oh, you're saying we're coming back to this. Yeah. Where, where are you going back to? <laughs> well, when we, we, still, we still want to go through our through our. We still want to look at a, a couple of examples here of uh, on opener's side, um, okay. making some judgments about whether or not we should even you know be accepting. So or, that three clubs is now two no trump. Yeah. Okay. okay. Could you so, show but, us the no trump bidders club suit to say I like clubs? Yeah. Or I don't yeah. That that is exactly okay. where we're going next. Okay. All right. Um, but to give to give you an idea, since you wanted to see what what responders hand might, might look like, if the opener bids to you no know here and says I don't like clubs, even though you're borderline at this stage, I think you should probably give up on the slam try. All right, if you're giving up on the slam try, but we know you still want to be in game, right? So we don't want you to bid five clubs here. We want you to play three now. And hopefully your clubs, even if partner doesn't love clubs, hopefully this still, you know, even if partner has to knock out the ace of clubs, that should still be hopefully a, a decent source of tricks for you. Uh, I expect you to make three no trump probably with an over trick or two. Uh, right. I mean, like even this. with a single to there. Well, if part, think about it this way. Partner's got 15 to 17. They've told you they don't like clubs, which suggests they don't have the ace of clubs. Um, you also have eight points in the majors. Partner's got to have diamonds over there. Right? I mean, partner's got to have some honors in diamonds. So I'm I'm not afraid of no trump just because I have a singleton diamond. You know, I mean, we we have we have a strong balance of power here. You know, we have twenty eight to thirty something high card points, right? Um, so don't worry. Yeah, don't okay. don't worry about the fact that you have a singleton in, in a side suit. Okay. Uh, partner's got you covered there. Now, when we come back to the slam try. You're actually going to be able to show that, but that's why I said hey, put it put it on hold for a second. When it goes one no trump, two spades, two no trump, does that mean I have diamonds? I don't have clubs, but I do have diamonds. No, doesn't say no. This is so this that, is simply this is simply your feeling about about clubs, <laughs> nothing else, because okay. that is all partner has shown. Okay. Yeah, you are not saying anything yeah, else you about have your that hand. written there. My yeah. No, no, that that's that's it. That that's for the two diamond transfer, which okay. we, which we haven't looked at that sequence yet, okay. but it, you know it. It will look very similar. Yeah, it looks the same. So. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so yeah, let's let's look at let's look at Opener's hand because I think we want to we do want to talk about whether or not. Oh, one knockout, two knockout. 